Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit and this is the day 4 of the JMeter uh, series. And in this day we will talk about the assertions. So in the JMeter there is a very important part is the assertions. So what is the assertions and how we can work with the assertions, we will discuss that. And also we will discuss that why we need the assertions in this JMeter. So uh, if you see the definition of the assertions, so what is the assertions? Assertions are used to perform additional check on samplers and are processed after every sampler in the same scope. So basically, what is assertion in layman language? So when we are doing a uh, uh, I mean sampler, so if you see here, this is the JMeter and using the JMeter, we are sending the request to the, uh, to the web service or in the web application and then these are the samplers. So sampler one, sampler two. The sampler could be different, different. We discussed in our last video. Uh, either it could be HTTP, it could be different. But based on this sampler, if we want to check additional check, then we need the assertions. Now we have various type of assertions. Let's say the response assertion, duration assertion, size assertions, and there are many more. So we'll basically discuss the four uh, important or commonly used assertions, which is response, uh, duration, size, and the JSON assertions. In our today's class, we'll discuss basically on the response assertions. So let's understand what is the response assertion. So if you see here in our uh, image, what we are doing using the JMeter, we are creating a dummy user and using the dummy user, we are doing a sampler or maybe HTTP request to a website or maybe we are visiting a website with us uh, with a particular request. And once we visit the website, we are getting some response like website is available or not. Um, uh, how much um, uh, you know how much time we to get that uh, to visit the website these are the information so let's talk about that if you are if we are doing the api call so we are requesting api call and then after sending the request api returns some responses right so all this validation can be done through the assertions okay so let's understand through the practical so if i open the jmeter so this is my jmeter and if i open this if I run this uh, JMeter, so let's say that I'm going to run that, it is going to hit my website and then I'll, um, I mean, how much thread group? 10 thread group. So let's run that. So once we run that, it started running to my, uh, my website. And if we go to this result set, we are getting some result through this HTTP request. Now let's see that each, um, when you are doing the request, you can see uh, whenever I'm opening this uh, one, we have a request and we have a response. So what does it mean by request and response? Let's see. We are sending some request and then based on that, we are uh, getting some response. So what are the response we are getting? That we are getting 200 server. Uh, these are the response we are getting. So um, very minimal information. See, if it is uh, API, we could get more details, but normally we are visiting the website. So we are getting that HTTP request equal to 200. We are getting that server equal to this one. We are getting date, uh, content type. These are the response we are getting from the server. Similarly, request, what, what request we are doing? We are uh, visiting to this website with the no cookies. And then uh, these are the response we are getting. Now we can validate the response that whatever response we are expecting is the correct response or not, right? That we can validate that. For that, we can do um, uh, one thing called um, assessments, okay? Now let's say that if you see that all these are true, I mean, all this check is okay because we don't put any assessments, okay? So let's put some assessments and see how it works. To add the assertions, definitely, you can you can go to these thread groups and right click add and then there will be options called assertions and then the various assertions is available in this case, right? So we are going to talk, talk today the response assertions. I'm going to select the response assertions. Once we open the response assertions, you can see the name that normally uh, used uh, for our case. Now, we have uh, uh, options called field to check. So on which field we are going to uh, validate that, okay? We can validate the text response, we can validate that request header, we can validate the request data, we can validate the response message, on which field we are going to do the assertions. Let's go back here under the tree. And if you see here, 
uh, if we go to these um, uh, response headers, so these are the response header and this is the response body. So in the response body, we get this kind of body and in the response header, we get this kind of response. Okay. And then after that, you can see we also get a some kind of uh, status message also. So if you see the sampler request and here we are getting the response code is 200. Okay. So we are checking that all each and every case we are getting the response code is 200 and then each response have a, uh, I mean, this is the details, uh, I mean, in, in depth details. So this is the response word and this is the response header. So we can either validation on this response header, we can validation on response body or we can uh, put the validation on directly on that particular, uh, in this case call, you know, the size or maybe the body or maybe, um, you know, response code or response message. Okay. So let's validate that. So what we are going to do, we are putting that response uh, validation on the response code. So, so this is the response code and then equals to, we should put the pattern. So which type of pattern we are expecting. So let's say that we are expecting the value is 200. Okay. Done. So we are expecting the 200, right? So now clear all this uh, value and then let's run that. So once we run that, so our response assistance is running, uh, run. And then if we go back here, all these, um, right now we get a response. Let's open that and you can see all are true or it's, there is nothing happen actually. So there is no changes in this case, right? So there is no check. Now what we'll do, in this instead of 200 what we'll do i'll change that 201 and um, clear all these and start doing that okay now if we go back here you can see all the response or the result that we have received is cross mark because whatever value we are expecting is not the correct okay now if we uh, click arrow mark here you can see the red mark and then under the red mark you can see that it is showing the comparison value okay so what we receive 200 and what we are expecting or comparison with 2001 that's the reason this assertions or the this result set are giving you the error so this way we can similarly uh, you know validate our uh, particular api also okay we'll discuss that api part later but uh, for the timing we can validate that using the response i'm mean, uh, response assertions we can validate any kind of response that we are receiving in our system so let's say that in in this assistance we just put that uh, you know um, you know uh, the 201 now let's say that we can um, do one more thing let's say uh, in this contents on the response contents we can uh, 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 instead of 201 we can say that not 201 so we can do the not validation also so let's say that if we want to validate not condition you can validate that also so if we just simply run that with the not 201 it right now should we uh, you know give me that success for all these newly created record because it's the response we are not getting 201 we are getting 200 which is actually a successful condition and that's the reason we are getting the success so this way we can validate that not only the response code we can also uh, uh, take the response message under the response message we can check that uh, okay we can validate that so we can just look okay and clear all our value and run that right now we are getting the response equal to two uh, okay so we can validate that the text also so you can see we are getting that uh, success because uh, you know uh, all this message that we have put is actually giving me that response is okay and that's the reason we can validate that if you want to get that in details you can get that details here uh, details but this is how on the high level so similarly this way we can also validate that api so we'll discuss that in our upcoming video for the timing uh, let's understand the uh, assessments assessments is just used for uh, validate the sampler um, um, whatever request we get for response assessments we can validate that response that we are receiving so we can validate any kind of uh, message code all these options do we have available okay so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day